Hi, I'm John Pullman, professional boxing trainer, owner of Pullman's Gym in Northridge, California, and this is Pullmanomics. Left-handers didn't think I forgot about you because you guys need to put a little water in the basement as well, as Teddy Atlas would say. He put a little water in the basement of Kovalev. It was banging downstairs to the body. So in this episode, we're going to go over good straight shots to the body from a left-handed stance. So here we have Josh um, in a left-handed boxing stance, but he normally fights left-handed. He actually has um, some really good fights where he utilizes these good uh, uh, straight shots to the body. And right now we're gonna go over the good jab to the body, right? So he's gonna, um, in his boxing stance, I'm in a right-handed stance and he's in a left-handed stance, right? He's gonna shoot his jab to the body. Much like uh, before in a previous video where we spoke about the feet regarding left-handed versus right-handed, it's very important to think about this. When he's gonna step with his front foot, he's gonna favor the outside of my front foot when he jabs to the body. Boom, right? So that makes that keeps him a little more safe. His head moves to the side. I mean, it's still dangerous, you know, because he's coming into the fire of the right-handed stance, so he has to be careful and has to be timed right, right? So he comes back. He does it again. He steps to the outside. Bang, that protects him. Hopefully his head to the side from a straight right hand. He got his hand up in case I throw a right hook. His balance is good. He's not leaning his head so far forward. In case I were to come underneath, he could still pull out of there quick, right? So he goes, he goes in and out. He pulls out quick. Boom, and pulls back quick, good. He could even step right to my foot if he wanted to too, but he does not want to step on the inside of my foot as a general rule, it's too dangerous. And it's also bad for defense. I can trap him and turn him this way. Bad for his offense too, to punch across his body. Right, so he steps here, boom, good. And he might roll after, bang, whoop, that's good for defense too. He might pull his hands up after, bang, boom, boom. So gotta think about your defense after as well. Okay, so here we have Josh in a good left-handed boxing stance, and I'm in a right-handed stance, and he's gonna shoot his straight left hand to the body, left-hander versus right-hander. Now when he does that, again, the feet come into play a lot, much like right-hander versus left-hander in general. So he's gonna throw his straight left hand to the body, he's gonna step on the outside of my front foot with his front foot, which is his right foot on the outside of my left foot. He's gonna throw it here, move his head to the side for safety, left hand's coming right down the middle. This hand's up for safety, his balance is good, his back leg's engaged, he's not leaning forward too far, good, then he's gonna come back. He's gonna do it again, boom, he's out the way of the jab, he's on the outside here, so now I'm in the, the, the bad position. If he wants to keep going that way, he can trap me this way, whatever, right? Because if he steps on the inside, it's dangerous for, for a lot of reasons. Step on the inside, he's going to cross his body, he's giving me an escape route, he's also putting his head right in here. Again, body shots are dangerous in general. They're extra dangerous when you do that. I mean, again, there's a time and place for everything. I can find instances in fights where people do step on the inside with shots and it does, be, it is effective, but as a, you do not want to make a habit out of it, right? Body shots in general, they also have to be done when I'm not expecting it. Because if I am expecting it, I can counter him. So he wants to feint me, right? He might throw a jab up top first, boom. And then he comes with the left hand to the body, boom, when I'm not expecting it. And you see how he rolled out for defense. That's good too, right? Boom, feint. Boom, then he goes boom, and it's safe, right? Again, boom, faint, I'm not ready for him. He steps on the outside, bang, good, and he's there. So that's a good straight left hand to the body, left-hander versus right-hander. Here we have Josh in a left-handed stance, and I'm gonna be in a left-handed stance as well, and we're gonna sh show you a basic jab to the body, left-hander versus left-hander. This one is a lot more straightforward because the feet line up a little easier and more conducive for offense, right? So you have to, it's not as, uh, you don't have to be as, as meticulous with your feet. Although you still should be conscious of them. So he's gonna step forward with his front foot while he jabs me to the body, and it's gonna, he's just gonna step right in, right in between my feet. That's pretty simple, right? Bang, but he moves his head to the side at the same time. In case I were to jab with him, bang, he's making me miss, his foot's stepping in, and he's jabbing me right here, and his, this hand's up for safety. He still has his back leg engaged, right? He only stepped with his front foot on this one, but if I'm a little farther back, he'll probably step with both his feet. Bop, and then he'll have his hands up for protection, or he'll step back out, right? Step back out after, boom, and then out for protection. He might roll after to his right, 
bang, whoop. And see how he kind of stepped his feet with his roll too? That was really good too. He steps with his front foot, then his right foot, then his left foot go to that way too. That's, that's a nice move. So he jabs here, bang, he rolls, whoop. That's a nice move. This time he's gonna step back. Bang, step back, that's good. So he's changing up his defense as well, that's smart. And again, body shots are always, you're always susceptible to get being countered. So he, has to, he wants to come in behind a feint, bang. Or he might jab up top first, boom, puts on here. Then he goes for the body shot when I'm not ready, boom. So a lot of it is about timing as well. But again, that's a good jab to the body, left-hander versus left-hander. Again, we have Josh in a really good left-handed boxing stance. And I'm in a left-handed boxing stance, and we're going to go over the straight left hand to the body, right? So again, the feet kind of line up pretty good for this. So he's going to—he can step straight in, or he can step to the to his right a little bit, and he's going to shoot his left hand right to my body and moving his head simultaneously. Boom! Moves his head for protection from my straight left hand. He also keeps his right hand up for safety. Good. Come back. He's going to do it again. Boom, he holds it. Look, the legs are really important. He got some, always has his back leg engaged. He's turning his back foot. His front foot is also knees bent and he's flat planted there for, to get good power, to sit down on the shot. Good. Then he's gonna think about his defense after. He'll probably, probably roll. If he really commits like this, he's probably gonna wanna roll after. Bang, whoop. Cause it's, you gotta, it's tricky if you really commit to, with a shot like this, it's tricky to pull back. Boom, because he might pull back right into the shot. His hands are up, so he's smart to do it. But, he, he, you know, if, it's, it's difficult. If once you really commit, and a guy, especially if a guy has longer arms, you can pull back right into a punch. So if you really commit, you're probably going to want to roll or maybe smother for defense. But right here, we're going to roll. Ba, whoop. Good, exactly. He's going to do it again. He's going to commit, and then he's going to roll. Whoop, bang. Exactly like that. And you see how he's taking a little step with his roll, too. Boom. He steps with the right, the left foot, excuse me, out. So he steps with his right foot in, boom. Then he steps with his left foot that way, good. It's really good footwork for that. So that's a good left hand to the body, left-hander versus left-hander. So here we have the pillow. It's a famous pillow, really good for body shots. And we have Josh in a left-handed boxing stance, right? And he's gonna be paying attention to my feet because I might stand in a right-handed boxing stance or I might stand in a left-handed boxing stance. So it's a good drill for his brain to figure out kind of where he, how he needs to utilize his feet and when he needs to pay a little more attention to where his feet are as well. So here, I'll be, I'm gonna ask him for a good jab to the body and he sees I'm in a right-handed stance, he's gonna make sure his foot does not step in between mine, right? Jab to the body, bang, he really commits to it. And he's conscious of his defense after. Bang, got his hands up, he got his distance right. Good, this time he might roll. Bang, whoop, good. Then he's also gonna think about the beginning part where he might have to faint first. Good, put something up here, and then he commits to the jab to the body, bang, and his feet are in good position, really good. Now he's gonna shoot the straight left hand to the body, and he's gonna commit to it, he's gonna watch his feet, he's gonna faint first, or he's gonna jab first, right, then he's gonna shoot, bang, good, and he rolls after. Really commit to it, throw a good one, bang, good, his feet are in position, really good, he steps that way, bang, good, he could keep going that way after if he wanted to, too. Bang! See, he keeps going that way. That's, not, that's a good move, too. You don't always have to roll back in front of me. He can go that way, but he's going to keep his right hand up for safety. Bang! Good, exactly. Put it out there. He could also put it back on his cheek. Bang! Good. And if he sees me in a left-handed stance, he's going to go throw a nice jab here. Bang! He moves his head. He's Good. Bang! Then he shoots the left hand. Bang! Good. And he rolls back. Good. Bang! Rolls. Thinking about his defense after. Good jab. Bang, good. Commit to that jab, move his head to the side. Bang, good. Right, so those are good, regular, good hard shots to the body. Now there's also another way we like to throw body shots, straight shots to the body. I call them like pokes, as I talked about in the previous video. They're not full-fledged. You're not putting all your force into them. You're just kind of like stealing them real quick. Like, like Again, like a baseball player hitting a single or a double as opposed to a home run, right? So here he is, when he does this one, it's very important for him to Throw out some decoys, like make me not think he's gonna do this, right? And I'm in a, a right-handed stance, right? As he can see. And you don't have to worry, you don't have to, you're not stepping in as deep with your feet. So it's not as, as super important where you have to, I mean, you're still thinking about your feet, but you're not stepping in as deep. He might just step right to my foot right here and just poke me. 
bang, and he's using his eyes up here. He's looking at me here, so I'm thinking here, we might be hand fighting, and he shoots his jab here. Bang, good. Like Shakur Stevenson does these really well. You know, Josh does them really well in some of his fights as well. So he sticks him here, bang, pokes him, good. Now he's gonna shoot his left hand. You see how we're hand fighting here? This is actually a good Shakur Stevenson move, where they're hand fighting. He'll hold my hand in place and shoot his straight left hand, bang, right here. That, that's a really tricky move, left-hander versus right-hander. And his feet, he's kind of stepping right to my foot or on the outside, and he holds my hand here because this is the hand that can hit him. So he's occupying it, right, because he's going that way, right, he's going that way, bang. So th this hand's going to be way across here. He's going away from that hand, so he, he's pretty much handcuffing me, and then he's poking me in my stomach. Really good move. It could be damaging. It can hurt, right? A good line drive single to the stomach hurts. And it could also be a setup for later. He gets me thinking about my body, and then he's going to use those later for something else where he might hit me in the head. So he's going to throw a poke jab here. Bang, bang, bang. He's occupying me. He's decoying me. He's pumping me. He's probing here. He shoots a jab left hand. Bang, jab. Bang, good. Then he might really commit with a left hand. He steps in and commits. And he might roll. Bang, good. So that's different. Then he pokes. Bang, good. And now he's noticed me, whatever stance I'm in, he's just ad adapting to it. Bang, good. Just adapting, poking, poking. Bang, commit with a good jab now. Commit with a good jab. Bang, good. So there's different, you know, practice all the moves that we've been working on today. But you got to be very conscious because they're simple. It sounds simple, but there's so many little details that go into making these moves effective for you offensively and very importantly, defensively. The heavy bag. Great boxing tool, great for a lot of drills. And here we have Josh in a good left-handed boxing stance. And he's gonna be hit, showing you straight shots to the body from a left-handed boxing stance. So first shot he's gonna throw is the jab. He's gonna really commit to it, right? The basic one, the first one we learned. So he's gonna step forward with his front foot, move his head to the side, and, but he's gonna measure it first, right? Make sure he's in a good position. Make sure his distance is right. Make sure his feet are right. Make sure his hands in good position. Make sure he's making all the, the right moves that we talked about. Again, jab. Bang, he's paying attention to his feet. He's thinking about what he's doing before he punches. He got a little rhythm. He might faint first. Boom, then he commits with a good hard jab to the body. Bang, good. And let's be clear, just because it's hard doesn't mean he's loading up. Loading up means he might be cocking it back or making extra moves and just trying too hard. No, he's developing his power from the, synchron the synchronicity of his body. The, 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 his foot and his arm all work together. His weight is in the right place. It's a really hard shot like that. He or Raynell, Raynell Williams would have jabbed to the body like this in a fight, and you could tell it did a lot of damage, and he didn't even throw it that hard. He just do, did good technique. Boom, jab to the body. Bang, good, just like that. Again, bang, good. Now he's gonna throw his left hand to the body. He's gonna move his head to the, to the other way. Bang, perfect. He steps with his front foot. Bang, and then he rolls out for defense. Think about what he does before he punches, while he punches and after. All, he's considering everything. He faints, his balance is right. Right, he's setting it up with his front hand. Now he might poke him to the body, not commit as much, right? Good setups. Bang, then he's using for defense. He's gonna probably step back after that, the way he is, in and out with it. Occupying, occupying the hand and poking him. Bang, then he might commit to throw him off. He's practicing everything, commit, bang. Uses a roll for defense, right? He's not gonna pull back right into the punches. Poke him. Poke him. See how occupying that? He's, he's using all his little tricks to, to, to maximize these basic straight punches to the body. You can really decorate these punches and make them really effective. They're simple punches, but just what you do before, during, after makes them really effective. Great fighters do, use simple things, but it's the way they use them. You know, a left-hander like Pernell Whitaker, he's so good at throwing body shots, you know? Um, I, when he fought Roger Mayweather, I know he was hitting him with, with great left hands to the body, which then set up other shots as well. So these are all, all great fighters that we talk about that you can see kind of the drills we do in the gym, and then you can look at the fights as well, and you can see, you know, how these, how these things can, me can line up with one another. So I hope, having said that, I hope all these drills and these um, examples that we give you are really helpful for you. And again, if you like our channel, you know, please subscribe and like our videos, and we'll continue to try to keep bringing you the best content that we can. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. But we'll see you on the next one. We're putting water in the basement, baby. <laughs>